Hello, this is Tony Riggs with GoEngineer. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use our Insight software and our 3D printer and come in and remove some support material so that will, will enable us to insert a metal fastener, in this case a hexagonal nut, into this cutout that I've created inside this part. If we come in and orient the part a little bit, come in and process the part and overwrite the one that I've already done. We're going to come in and take a look at the support layers down through the hole that the nut was going to be in. I'm going to set this as the bottom of my range and then page up and down through the layers until we get up to the top of the hexagonal cut. Right about there. Page back down once. Set that as the top of my range. So now instead of looking at all the layers, we can come in and just look at the range of layers. Now depending on the geometry, we may be able to go in and uh, remove support material all in one fell swoop. It just kind of depends on uh, the geometry. What I'm going to do here is come in and go edit delete and delete curves. And we want to come in and delete all the way up uh, to that level right there. We want to make sure we don't get to the red level, but everything else. And we're just going to page down through our layers here one at a time. It doesn't take too too long. We can get get through it fairly quickly. And I'm just coming in and getting just the outer boundary. We'll see that once we process this again, uh, the other support material will go away. But I always like to come back and check and make sure that I uh, get everything. Now we're just in the hole that goes down to the bottom. I think I missed one. There we go. Say OK to that and go back down to the, <clears throat> the bottom. We'll page up a few more layers. there. We'll say OK to that. I'm gonna, there's one more I missed. So those guys are going to go away eventually once we reprocess this thing. We're going to go ahead and page up while we're here to the top of the hexagonal cut. Right there. One more up. Tool paths insert pause. So this inserts a pause at the beginning of this layer. So we'll say OK to that. And we're going to come back in and reprocess the layers and see what we've got. Back to a top view, page down, page down, all the way down through this just to make sure all the support material is missing. Now I can see I've missed one little layer there. Delete that. It's always nice to come back in and uh, double check. One more time processing. So we've deleted all the support material all the way up through our part and we can you know, be confident in getting this going. Now the first couple times that I've done this, I was kind of worried about you know sticking a piece of hardware in there. You got to make sure that you get it nice and uh, flush with the top of the layer where you have the pause. Uh, measure it nicely so it you know sticks in nice and uh, snug to to the part. Uh, Bastrasis actually has a nice um, white paper on adding. Uh, metal inserts. There's a couple things that they like to, to talk about. Um, simple spray to use. What they have us do is go in and use some wax and grease remover to, to clean the part and then a fairly simple they use a Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch uh, clear gloss acrylic to spray onto the top of the in this case washer. That helps uh, promote adhesion of the model material as it lays down. Also, they talk about you know adding a, a drop or two of uh, super glue to hold the part in place so it doesn't bounce around on us as we get started. 
that's some interesting things we can do and applications for our 3D printer where we want to put in some metal inserts. So again, this was Tony Riggs with Go Engineer, and I hope you found this video to be helpful. Mm -hmm.